Good morning, modern steaders. It's 18 below zero out this morning. I'm down here the early in the morning, getting the fire ready to get the house warmed up. I believe the house was 63 this morning when I woke up. A little chilly, but it's cold and windy. It was supposed to be 40 below last night with the wind chill. So that makes the house 100 degrees warmer inside than it was outside with the wind chill. Wow, that's crazy. All from the fire. That's pretty exciting. That's one way I like to look at it. When it's like, oh, it's cold in the house. I look at the temperature and I go, it's negative 40 out and it's 63 or 60, whatever. And that's a hundred and something degrees difference. I'll take it. Gonna be having some friends over for lunch later today. I have a nice new bread recipe. I tried last night. Let the dough sit out all night long. Mm. That dough smells good. We're gonna make some corn chowder to go with that bread this morning. Mr. Figaro's taking advantage of the warm wood stove also. We cut up the bacon last night. We gotta be quiet, everybody's still sleeping. But now we gotta pick up our mess and put everything away. I want to keep my bacon hooks hanging in the root cellar. That way I know where they are when I need them. Let's see what the temp is this morning. It is 35 degrees. Awesome. It's not freezing in here. That makes me happy. Thinking I'd like to get one to one and a half more of these wire racks for inside the root cellar. I like the wire racks because the air can flow through them. If I put wooden shelves in here, you're not gonna have as much air movement. I sure do like that handle. I haven't done anything with my screws yet. But yeah, if I keep it open just a crack it'll keep it from freezing in there with these cold temperatures sixty three dash dash that means it's so cold out it's too cold for our outdoor thermometer to read. The batteries froze. I've been working with a lot of bread recipes that are quick, fast doughs that call for a lot of yeast. So I wanted to make a dough this time with a little bit of yeast that sits overnight and see what the different flavor complexes are. So that's what we're doing here. We let this dough sit for over 12 hours. Usually we're always doing stuff, but I love bread. So today we have friends coming over for lunch after church. I'm gonna have a nice corn chowder. You always need a good bread to go with that. So I figured, why not try a new bread recipe? Now we're gonna let it rest for another hour. So I'm gonna let it rest in the basement where it's warmer. I'm going outside to take care of the animals right now, but it's too darn cold out to bring you out with me. So you're gonna to have to wait inside, stay warm. I'll be back in the jiffy. You wanna go out, Pluto? You know it's cold out. Look at my mustache and my beard. 
See the frost on them? You know there. <laughs> when your nose hairs freeze up when you're outside, it's cold out. I don't know, how many? Two? Two? Only two? Oh, you're sauteing it in the bottom. You look cold over here. Banana bread or zucchini bread for this week for breakfast? Banana bread. Banana bread again? Alright. Last night. Leave them in water overnight and they don't brown on you. In the refrigerator or leave them in a cave if you have a cave. Not only we have our own chicken broth, but we've used it all up lately. So we're gonna try vegetable broth today. Now that we let it sit for another hour. And the oven's preheated. So let's see how this recipe comes out. It does smell good, don't it?
look delicious. Mmm. Look at that, that's beautiful. We're gonna be in for a good lunch today, Mom. Mm. Look at the bread. Oh, right? I'm a little nervous. I finally got some daylight ball, but I'm hoping it changes the color of the inside of the house after we change the ball. So this is what it looks like before, and hopefully it looks better after. Definitely a lot brighter. Wow. Blue, yellow, white. Can you tell the difference? Yeah. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. Let's go walk this way and we'll come out. Oh yeah, you can see it yeah. in the camera, look. Oh yeah, yeah. Yellow on the right and nice and clear on the left. That's a huge difference, look at that. Before, after. That was a good corn chowder recipe. I really enjoyed that. that easy? It was easy to make in the Instant Pot. The hardest part was peeling potatoes. Yeah, that's always a hard thing. Yeah. People are gonna say, leave the potato skins on. This one, don't eat them that way. Nope. <sighs> Things we have to do for our kids. I know. The bread was good. That right. was the best recipe so far. It was like a Panera bread recipe. Or it tasted like a Panera bread bread. It would make a really good bread bowl. Yeah. Looking forward to making it again. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. We'll see you right back here tomorrow at... <laughs> the cold air thing for us. <laughs> Bye.